Well, we are on a bit of a mission today. I need to go and buy some new summer gloves because mine have gone missing. Last time I saw them was at the Wells Weekender because ever since then I've had my girl been eating gloves on. So I reckon someone's tea leaf me gloves. It's probably Royston. So I'm going to go to JNS Accessories in Birmingham. Have a look at some summer gloves and then over Easter me and Viper went down to Breen by Western Supermare in his motorhome and I went in my caravan. Since I've come back I can't find my wallet. So I think I've left my wallet in the caravan. So I need to go to the caravan and have a look. We was meant to be in Church Stretton tomorrow. But it's getting windy now. I think the winds are getting up to about 50 miles an hour tomorrow. And heavy rain. So we've had to cancel Church Stretton ride out. Hopefully we can do it the following Sunday. So it was just a little video because I didn't get out. So I'm going to take you for a little voyage to buy some gloves and to find me wallet. I've managed to fix my screen extender as well. All the arms had come loose and the plastic rivets had worn. So a bit of Gorilla Glue. The jobs are good. Un. I don't normally have that on. I'm just having that for when we do our summer tour. And we're on the motorway down to the Euro Tunnel. Oh, well, that's good. JNS accessories are closed. They're shut down. Marvellous. Well, I've now got to go all the way back. Let's do it, Huey. Brilliant. Oh, street boy kitties. We're now heading to Street Bike in Hal's Owen. Because JNS has closed. 17 degrees today. Temperature's coming up just nice. I think tomorrow for Church Stratton was still going to be warm, but it was just going to be the wind and the uh, the horrendous rain which has put a stop to it. That's all you see now here in Birmingham. <clears throat> Every traffic light you come to. Every island there's somebody with a cup collecting money. This is a place as well normally where you get jumped on your bike. Or well, they'll come and um, surround you on a couple of mopeds and rob your bike. Well, I've got to say, I've never had it, or even tried, to happen to me. I think the problem is, I think I'm that stupid. Even if I pulled out a knife, I wouldn't be handing the bike over. I'd be cracking the jawbones with my helmet. And God knows whatever I can find. So, probably not the best thing to do, but... I think that's... That's my mentality. I think they'd know anyhow. Because I think as soon as they saw the motor of badge, they know if they try and pick my bike or get me off it, I'll get Royston to talk up how to his ball sack on them. So I think that's enough deterrence. But you hear some people say, don't you know, oh, just let it go. It's, it's only a bike can be replaced. No, <laughs> I don't think so. It's only a bike I've struggled to find the money to pay for. It's not someone I'm going to hand over without... Well, without one of us going down. I think more than likely it might be me if there's a few of them, but... I won't go down without a fight. 
especially with some little scrote on mopeds just because they don't want to get your bike and razz it round razz it round the field and ride it off. I had that happen to me when I was I, th I was 19 and I had a Suzuki RGV 250 Lucky Strike oh, it, was an it was my dream bike well that's all I could afford then was a 250 but I was a big Kevin Swans fan so it was the 34 Lucky Strike absolutely loved that bike um, went to my mate's house parked it in his front garden I was literally I think I only popped to his house for something I literally went in come out and the bike had gone and then I can't remember how how long or how much time had passed oh dear love your dress is coming up you might want to sort that out um, yeah so because I don't remember phoning the insurance and claiming anyhow say it was a couple of weeks um, and my cousin Raymond you all know Raymond um, he phoned me he lived in West Bromwich at the time and he said I think your bike's here lucky strike you know ready to all out went over there what they did was if I remember I think the guy's name was Pincher that was his name Pincher he lived around that area obviously a scrote robbing everything um, so he'd robbed my bike found it in West Bromwich this was from Albury to West Bromwich so it's only a few miles and what they'd done they took it over this field called the Wreck you know it was just like a playing field or some gold post on it obviously they'd rag my bike around and obviously they just wrapped it around the lamppost um, I remember I managed my dad took me over I said yeah I'll be fine dad I can drive it back and I just I remember the handlebars was like that I was having to drive with the handlebars all crooked just trying to get it back completely mangled and then I didn't have a bike for a couple of years and then my brother, he got hold of a, I think it was a Suzuki SR125, it was like a little chopper thing. And I had that for a bit. It was a load of crap, but he got me around. Yeah, so that's the only bike I've had stolen. But I know I'll do everything I can to stop that happening again. The only problem is, and it is, um, as Goose said with his when Goose has got pinched, that was a 15 year old kid. And as you said, if he would have got hold of him and get a lamp in, he would have done. He would have got done for it. But I think if someone come to me with a knife or anything like that, I oh know it sounds stupid, doesn't it? You should just say, now there's the bike, I'm walking away. But uh, I'm not that mentally advanced. Anyhow, let's go look at some summer gloves. After somebody tea leafed with summer gloves. It's probably Goose doing it to wind me up. I bet he's hidden somewhere, really. You want to go and buy some gloves now, 80 quid, and he'll say, Oh, well, here's your gloves. Oh, look at that sexy mother for Karchi in the reflection in the window. It's a nice bike you got, mate. So, I'm having a go tonight. My favourite curry, my Indian curry, is my favourite, is a lamb pathia, or patia. I think it's pronounced. And I absolutely love it. So I've been watching YouTube videos, how to make it, from all these Indian restaurants. So I might have a go tonight at making one. I was going to video the steps of me making it. Not to make a video out of it, just so if I do get it absolutely bang on, I can go back and say, right, well, that's how much I put in of this and Because you know when it does this, two tablespoons and what out nah, there, I don't be doing stuff like that. I'll just throw it in, taste it. If it goes wrong, I'll just order a takeaway. But um, So I'm going to video it, because if it does turn out banging, then I've got my recipe. And I might even put a bit of footage in here. So we're just getting our last few, few items sorted for our... Black Forest tour. I've had to order Iceman's and Jim ID's Critter sticker for France yesterday. So they should be here. All the hotels are booked. Everything's done. 
at the moment we're just trying to talk motorway into coming he said he wasn't going to come but when he looked at the the route because obviously this is going to be quite it's going to be an easy easy tour this one is it's going to be quite laid back we're not covering massive mileage i think the biggest mileage the biggest days we're going to be doing is going to the euro tunnel and back but actually miles on tour i think the lowest we're talking is i think about 110 miles for a day and i think the biggest mileage is 170 on the one day so it's a nice easy tour but Vic wasn't coming because of his current situation but his current situation has changed so we are trying to talk him into coming but when I booked all this I did book an extra bed in every hotel just in case somebody wanted to come so Vic motorway if you're watching this i've already told you your bed's booked we all want you there you know you want to go you got no reason not to go i know you said you have things to sort but your circumstance now you've got all the time in the world to sort stuff but you ain't got all the time in the world to go on tour so pull your finger out give it a wipe because it might be a bit smelly Send me that message saying, Mav, I'm definitely coming. Because all the guys want you there. Royston keeps badgering me. Saying, have you asked him? Have you asked him? Have you asked him? So all the guys are going to miss you. So, yep, pull your finger out. Wipe it. Don't bite underneath your nails. Message me. Say, Mav, I'm coming. Sorted. You'll be on tour in July and you'll be happy. And you know you will. You watch, I'll get to street bike, it'll be closed. I can see me ending up riding in 40 degrees in the summer in my gerbing eating gloves. People start calling me goose. So I've got my holiday booked for the summer, the family holiday. We're off to oh, somewhere down Costa del Sol. I can't remember the name of the place. Mar somewhere by Marbella, somewhere like that. So we got that booked, and I've only gone and found a motorcycle hire company. So I think I'm going to be hiring myself a Tracer 700, and I think I might do myself a little day out around the Andalusia mountain range. Going to do a few little mountains around there. The wife wasn't particularly impressed when I said I'm hiring a bike, but. I did tell her it is the law. And I think it worked out. I think it's quite cheap. I think it was £68, I think, for the day. Well, you've got it till the next day. You can hand it back in the morning, but I should probably take it back the same day. Yeah, £68 for the, a Tracer 700. God, enough to give you some good stories, and not today. So what? I should be on stage. Preferably sweeping. Right, street bike. Let's go and see what extortionate prices they've got. I don't even know where the accessories are now and the clothing. So I managed to get stung for £49.99 I bought these RSTs. I'm a bit like mesh material here and up here so I should get a bit of a um, bit of air circulation in them. And I've had to have a two times XL. You know what I say about big gloves? They're CE approved, I don't know what what model they are. RST style or whatever. Whatever, whatever. Right, let's try them out. 
They haven't got a great selection in there to be honest. Fell nice though. The only thing I don't like is the cuffs are quite big on them. I like the short cuff in a summer glove. So I can't get my bloody jacket over the top. There. There. Oh, they feel nice. They feel nice and airy. Airy as in air getting in, not as in werewolf hands. Right, let's go and find me wallet. Oh, I can feel the breeze in them. Oh, them just like, they're like, that's like a mesh jacket. I can actually feel the cold air blowing through the gloves. Oh yeah, I can really feel that. That just shows you how good my hand guards are on the bike. I well, obviously ain't doing nothing. I can feel it coming right in the fingertips and going up the hand. I've got to say, that's something I'd never thought of before. Mesh gloves. Obviously, it don't sound very protective. But I suppose on the fingertips, it has got it has got leather. Ooh, I'm excited for them. Ooh, that feels nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, they do feel nice and comfortable. They don't feel bulky, although they've got quite a bit of protection across across the knuckles. We're at 70. And that is... <laughs> that's really blowing in my hands. Right, now I think those are going to be proper summer gloves. I mean, at the minute it's showing 18 and that's just... That's just right, you could put up with that all day. I think if it was any colder, around 14, 15, your hands... Your hands are going to get cold, because I'd imagine that... that cold air would get a bit bitter. Here we go. Here's the caravan storage. Ucha. 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 I've left me wallet in the caravan. I've left me wallet in the caravan. I've been looking for days. I thought, where have I put that? I thought, it's in the, it's in, it's in the caravan. <laughs> Let's see if it's in here. I think I left it. There it is. Look at that. How rampacked is that? There we go. We got it. It was in the caravan all this time. Got it. See you later. Again, a few people have asked following on from how we book and plan our European tour is what do I take? Now, I know we all take different things, but uh, I'll make a video on what I actually take. So, for now, that's me done. Got some gloves, I got my wallet calm before the storm. I'll see you on the next one. Oosha! In my new gloves, Boosha! That's the lamb fried off in a bit of tomato puree. Two tablespoons of oil. 
and two onions. Fry the onions off till I'm soft. Two bay leaves. Teaspoon of ginger paste. Two cloves of garlic. Pinch of fenugreek seeds. Teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Add tomato passata. Squirt a tomato puree. One tablespoon of madras paste. One tablespoon mango chutney. One tablespoon of sugar. Half a lemon squeezed in. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. But right now, I'm going to put it in there, blend it, and then put it back in. Now, add the lamb into there and taste it. So I've put another half tablespoon of madras paste in. I've put the rest of the lemon in, so it's a whole lemon. And now the coriander. And we'll keep some fresh coriander to put in at the end. So there you go, that's my first lampathia. I don't think I've got enough meat in it. I've got more sauce than meat. But for the first attempt, that is absolutely bang on. And it tastes just like it. I'm happy with that. Oosh. We'll see how the toilet feels in the morning. <laughs>